Welcome to a brand new series for HF Angling where I'll be fishing with some of the UK's biggest brands alongside some of their very best anglers. Now the venue choice is down to that angler that I'm going to be fishing with. So we could be carp fishing on a lake somewhere, we could be predator fishing on a river, we could even be fishing a canal. The chances are though that I've never fished the venue before. Now this makes the fact that I'll be going head to head with the other angler in a competition for pride and bragging rights even harder. So who's going to be filming it? Well, you are. What? So I'm in the match yes. and I'm also filming the match yes. against some of the best anglers in the UK? Yes. So who's, whose fantastic idea was well, this? Well, it's clearly not mine, mate. Brilliant. That's great. So who am I going to be fishing against? Well, it doesn't matter who you're fishing against, does it? Great. Well, here we are then. Welcome to the first episode of Fishing with the Brands. You join me over in a place called Thorn, which is about two hours from the HF shop. And in Thorn, there's a rather special canal. It's a rather large canal. We're fishing this stretch here. It's more like a river. It's gin clear. In the summer, it has lily pads reed lined everywhere and it's pretty wide for a canal as well. While we're here, we're going to be targeting perch, chub and pike using a whole host of the new gear from Striking. That could be anything from the new Dad Hot Shows right up to the jerk baits and crank baits, spinner baits, chatter baits, you name it. We're going to give it all a go today to get a few fish on the bank. So without further ado, let's get fishing. But first, let's introduce you to our guest angler for this session and also my competition. Well, good morning, guys. We're on the uh, joining us here today on the Thorn Canal. I'm me, myself and John. Uh, I'm having a little mini a little mini match today, but we're primarily going to be using the new Strike King products, which we'll go into a bit more detail later on. What, what, what we're using, how we're using them, and obviously the range available to you guys. I've fished this spot a few times in the past, and I've done, I've done, I've done quite well. Uh, so I thought it was a good idea to come here today with John and see if we can snare a few pike and perch. It's not your typical canal, narrow and muddy and chocolate colour. It's quite a clear canal. And in some stretches you think you was fishing a river. So it was a good, a good place to try and, and hopefully we'll put a few fish on the, on the bank for you guys to see how we do. When we started off further down, my first cast as you've seen, I've had a good fish. Well, just to start with anyway, I thought we'll keep into fish like that, but Jammy Git John's just had one. So we'll go from that <laughs> and see how, see how we carry on from there. Well, as Jason's just said, I've now caught one making it one all. Mine's also bigger, <laughs> I'd like to just add. These fish are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Probably, wow, easy tiger. Probably a pound and a half. Something like that. Maybe. I'm stretching that, I think, at a pound and a half. But it's an incredible, incredible fish. Looks to be quite old as well. All mottled head big black stripes absolutely mega mega fish really happy to catch it also obviously and get his little spike up for you my first perch from thorn thorn thorn, yeah. thorn. my first perch from thorn his dorsal's all beaten up as well proper angry one this so there we go this one took a hack attack jig with the trailer craw on it, the rage craw in black. Um, smashed it, to be honest. Jason's also just dropped a bigger perch and had a follow up a big pike as well. So I think this spot might be all right, but we're gonna give it a little longer. Maybe have a move as well, but that makes it one all. Ha! <laughs> yes. Not for long, John, not for long. <laughs> right, let's slip him back and uh, catch another one of these insane creatures. Look at that! Well, oh, boom! <laughs> I feel a bit guilty with this fish. Damn right. Well, no, I don't. Actually, I don't. John just had this fish on a, on a little jerk bait. Come and take it out on the surface. 
I crept in behind John and said, I think it'll fancy a Ned. And it did. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nailed it as well. But that fish had a good, a good sized jerk bait. It's definitely the same fish as well because we've seen where it's just been pricked underneath. See how big the jerk bait is next to it? Yeah, bring it in, John. It'll... That's the fish that had a go at it. <laughs> <laughs> Numerous times as well. So yeah, it went down to salt, so I chucked down this. Strike King Ocho again. He's got this little beast. But they're certainly here, so we'll keep It's like a up. tiger. I know, beautiful, isn't it? Seven strikes on there. But literally, they're literally like river perch. So what I was saying about it earlier, it's, the conditions like fishing a river. And I've never had canal perches as nice as these. But pristine little fish. I'll slip this one back and I'll try and gain the lead a little bit longer. See the bait, absolutely annihilated the cut of worm. Fantastic little fish. Look how black this bit's on the dorsal here. Stunning. I'll let you look at that, John, closely. You see that down there? <laughs> Whatever. Absolutely gone. Can't say them words anymore, can we? Next number, number four, John. Rage cutter again. Absolute stonker though. Look at that. Seriously fat fish. Be feeding well. Not be far off getting ready for spawning as well. That's bits. a chunk. I know. Literally. Look at that. It's incredible. Really soft. That dorsal, you know. Especially in this sunlight as well. Beauty. Yes, the score is now. Is it 4 1? 4 1. Now, in my defence, the sun's in my eyes all the time. It's windy. The clouds are in the wrong formation for me to catch fish on my terms, you see. That's the main problem. And I'm obviously videoing this at the same time. So yeah, got some more to catch yet. Don't worry. What I thought I'd do is um, tell you what rigs I'm using today. And then probably Jason will catch one in the background. And then Jason will explain what rigs he's catching his fish on. So my rig that's worked for me so far is a hack attack jig. It's a skirted jig with a big weed guard on the back on the front of it, just to protect it going through snags and stuff like that. And then the skirt around it just helps that visual aspect, especially if you're fishing on a silty or a dusty bottom. It really helps silhouette your bait in all the cloud, in the sunlight, in the dark. Really, really good way of, of getting bites. And on there, I've got one of the rage chunks in it's called a black neon i think it's a shorter bodied crayfish imitation with bigger paddles specific specifically designed to work on skirted jigs so that's what i'm using there it's quite a bright day water's gin clear so i'm going for quite muted colors um black body and then the skirted jig i think that's the bama craw skirted jig might be wrong on that but that's what got me the bite my other opportunity that i had um on another perch that jason then very unkindly stole off me was on this here it's on one of the new kvd jerk baits it's the 20 centimeter version 
Um, it's the one that we're stocking in store and this is in the California Chrome. I just wanted to give it a go. I love using jerk baits and I wanted to see what that was like in the water and it's insane, absolutely ridiculous. And this one did me, almost did me a fish actually. Jason caught that very small perch just after I was using this, this and it had a pinprick hook mark in its belly where it had a go at this and been snagged by one of the hooks then fell off. Um, so it was definitely the same fish. Very hungry fish by the sounds of things, but that was the second bait that's done work for me. I've also been throwing one of the new Rage Bugs. Really cool colour and I've been throwing that on what's called a Tokyo rig. That's sort of like a Cheb rig in a way that you have an articulated weight off the either hook, but this one has it on a long point there, the Texas weight and the bead on. Just to help get it through, there's any silt on the bottom, gives it a slightly different presentation as well. So I've been giving that one a cast, nothing on that yet, obviously. But hopefully the next 10 minutes or so will change that. We found a few fish. Well, Jason's found a few fish, so hopefully I'm going to capitalise on that and catch some for myself. Given. So one thing Jason and I didn't agree on before we started this little match was that Pike's 10 points. So I'm clearly well and truly in the lead right now. There we go. So I decided to copy. Jason and put a cut our worm out trying to catch some perch and this snarly bad boy's come along. Nice little pike, not very big. I was convinced it was a massive perch when I hooked it. I got really excited. Still happy though. Mega pike, well happy. So it's 2-4. Four. 4-2. Four, four, this should count as more than one point, but it's not. I don't think they count, John. You don't think they don't count at all? <laughs> what? <laughs> Having a laugh. Um, so yeah, let's slip him back. The audio is probably completely gashed because the wind's so bad. But um, yeah, let's slip him back in. Try and catch a perch this time. Yeah, well happy. Oosh! <laughs> I'll take that back, John. I think they are 10 points. 10 points a bike. The cut a worm on the Ned. Nailed that again. The other way. Definitely smaller than mine, mate. A lot smaller. Let me zoom right in. <laughs> oh, it's massive now. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Huge, mate. Pristine little fish, though. I know I've said it before, but they literally are. It's like catching river fish. They are not your typical canal fish, are these pike and perch. Anyway, I'll keep it out too long, slip it back, try and get a few more. <laughs> Five one. <laughs> right, I'll just go through now with stuff I've been using today. I've been using the Thunder Cricket on my chatterbait, it's a bit like a chatterbait basically, in the Falcon Lake Craw pattern, and then I've added a Rage Swimmer on the on the back end, just as a trailer. I've been primarily, primarily targeting pike, pike for this, but then again, some big perch do hit it. Um, I've had one take on it so far, which only to be the pike have been taking the smaller stuff, which I'll go on to next. Um, on this rod, I've just got set up a Texas style jig, which is the Rage Bug, the pumpkin red fleck. And I've got on there just a quarter ounce tungsten Texas weight, just top 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 to there with the float stop. That's been doing really well, a few perch on that. And then the other rod. Started on the Ned Ocho, as you probably saw earlier, and then went on to the the cut of worm, which had some some of the better fish on. We've just moved up the canal now, when I've actually just put on one of the striking skirts. But it was just a little bit too long for the Ocho, so I thought I'd trim it down. <laughs> You've heard it here first. It's the palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> but just by adding that skirt, I mean it. Any situation, but in this particular one, it's meant to look for a bit more, a bit more vibrant and colourful. It might look a bit crazy off-screen. 
out the water, should I say. When it's in the water, it just gives out a little bit of a little bit of puff on the bottom when it hits down. Stuff like that. We're going to give this a try. Hopefully, we'll get a fish on it. Put me further in the lead. Good job. Whatever. The bastard. <laughs> Think I've sealed the deal, John. <laughs> Absolute mental. Literally just switched over. To the chat bit. Absolutely annihilated it. The Thunder Cricket has done it for me. I mean, the lure is completely, completely gone. I mean, look at that for a stunning perch. She's a bit green because I was scared of losing this one. I brought her in pretty quick. But what a fish. Absolute beautiful. On the Falcon Lake Craw pattern again with the Rage Summer trailer. I've said it time and time again. Big baits, big fish. I've had such good success on chatter baits over the past few years. And this just proves it again. And I don't think there's a better way to end the day than with a fish like that. Absolutely beautiful. Pristine fish as well. Doesn't look that old. Really good condition, nice and fit. And if it was carrying a bit more weight on the belly, this would have been a really decent weight fish, but that grumbling. No. Way. Absolute cracking fish. Not at all. Well, I know I harped on about my palm tree a bit earlier, but <laughs> I wasn't getting nothing on it. I took it off, literally, on the first cast. No monster, it just proves subtle changes can make a difference, whether it's adding things or taking them away. Taking them away. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea, John. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, it's proofing the pudding again on the Nedocho. Absolutely brilliant today. <laughs> well, we have come to the end of the day. Final spot didn't work out for me. There's loads of silverfish topping nothing's working now. It's time for the long drive home, so I have to admit, complete defeat. What did it end on? 7-2. Yeah, 7-2, yeah. 70. Let's be honest, I was never going to win, was I? To be brutally honest. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you, Jason. Oh, thank for you, John. Yeah, today. enjoyed it. It's been a mega day. Plenty more videos on the way. This is the first of the new mini series. Don't forget, there's plenty more videos like this during the rest of the year. If you like the content, leave us a comment below. Tell us what you thought about it. If you're a new subscriber to the YouTube channel, welcome, and we will see you in the next video.